what is going on dudes, my name is Little13 and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. So, as you saw, oh, I just turned on my headset, I'm like, what happened to the audio? Um, anyways, that's not important. In the last episode, uh, we beat the first gym leader after lots of trials and tribulations, because he was way too difficult for the first gym leader. <laughs> and as you saw that little, uh, montage before, our team has changed a ton, as you can already see by the sidebar. Um, yeah. We now have uh, a Haunter and an Octillery, which is pretty cool, and everyone's level 25, and we did drop Sparky and the Delta Grimer. So, I dropped Sparky because Sparky was not doing very good. She was, He was getting knocked out repeatedly, and I didn't really want to keep using it just because it couldn't hold its own and it couldn't really do any training or anything because it kept dying. So, I just decided to stick it in the PC. So we got Moosh here, level 25, tried to learn Fire Spin, but I didn't want it to, so it's got Flame Wheel, Tackle, Stomp, and Flame Charge. So, we have Celeste here, so who did evolve, which is pretty nice. I thought it evolved into Octillery at level 30, so I didn't expect it to evolve, so I'm like, alright, cool stuff. So I decided to get rid of Focus Energy because I don't think I've actually used it since I taught it to her. So. And now we got Octazooka, which is the same power as Bubble Beam, but has a chance of lower accuracy. It also has a lower accuracy, which may miss more, uh, considering... I don't know. Do we still have Hustle? No, we have Suction Cups. That's awesome. That is that is very, very nice. So next we have Terror, the other Pokemon that evolved. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. It did learn Shadow Punch, which is very nice. I got rid of Nightshade for that because there was a lot of power points. So, and, uh, it... Uh, hypnosis was doing very nicely for me when it came to the pseudo wudos so I was able to put him to sleep so I could do more damage so I could actually do more damage and finally Ryu uh, nothing new just level 25 so pretty cool stuff that is the team hopefully we'll find a Pokemon soon that I want to bring along I didn't really like any of the Pokemon that I encountered here I did battle these two trainers the first one I didn't even mean to battle uh, it was before the uh, at the end of after we after I stopped recording it last episode, so it wasn't even on purpose that uh, it happened, but I battled him, so it didn't really matter. Anyway, uh, I decided to battle that the Rune Maniac because I needed to uh, get some more XP for Mooch here because Mooch was having trouble keeping up just because of the Pokemon that were there because I couldn't battle the pseudo -Wudos, um because Mooch would get absolutely destroyed by them. So now you've got a Volbeat. So Mooch is very very well prepared to take on this guy so get wrecked <laughs> good job mooch dang that was some that was sick so maybe petalil that would be the only pokemon that i've seen so far on this route that would have any sort of interest to me i don't know if i went back and healed i well actually i did go back and heal never mind so we're all good i was just trying to do, to think to myself whether or not i did and of course you get the paralysis i'm just gonna knock you off Oh, it's all good. Now I'm really low on speed. So now you've got a Huntail. That's pretty cool. Um, I think we'll stay in because I think Ryu's doing okay. You've got Ice Fang. And I'm paralyzed. Sweet. We're just going to go straight off for the knockoff and I'm just going to heal. Okay, this thing had Water Pulse and Brian. It didn't decide to use them until really late in the in the battle, which is kind of funny. Let's go into Terror. Terror's going to level up already because Terror gained way too much XP. <laughs> just from helping out, um, I can't even, what, what is his name? Mooch, Mooch, that was his name. I could not remember the name for the life of me. So we're just going to swap out here, because you're not doing well. And I'm just going to try to wreck this thing with Psybeam. And two Psybeams is able to take out the Croconaut. Booyah, there we go, buddy. Terra's going to level up, obviously. So, uh, very, very, very good stuff. I'm probably going to go heal up, because our team, as you see, got wrecked. All right, now we're back to where we were. Uh, well, I didn't mean to run into this Pokemon. Another routes. I don't really want to get a routes. I mean, uh, Gardevoirs are pretty cool and stuff, but they're always a lot used very often when it comes to, uh, you know, Let's Plays and whatnot. So I don't, I just, I just want to do something new, man. Let's go for Octazooka for the first time. Wow. Nuzzle does Jack Diddly Squat. Parabolic Charge. Great. Can you stop? Like, please? <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing freaking... I forgot you're a fairy type. God dang it. Well, I didn't even... I wasn't even talking when I killed off the Daden, but... Ah, frustrating. <laughs> it got burned. I think it lived because of Sturdy, and then it got burned. That's hilarious. Okay. Anyway, uh, our team is wrecked once again. What do I have? 
Oh my god, I have nothing. I need to go buy shit. God dang it, I'll be back once again. Oh yes, I forgot. The spell tag is not the cleanse tag, so I can give the spell tag to Terror. It'll be very nice for Terror to hold. I just realized it's nighttime in the game. I was gonna turn change my computer time so that it wasn't night in the game. Um, for you guys so you could see better, but I completely forgot apparently. So good job, Caleb. You're so smart. <laughs> anyway, we'll just take down this gloom of two roar beams, and Celeste is gonna level up, which is very nice. You gotta blossom. I will right, we'll hit this thing with an aurora beam. Yay! And your attack fell. Nice. That's exactly what I want, because blossoms are physical attackers, you know. Ow. Okay. I didn't go buy healing items once again. Why am I such an idiot? All right. I want to see what the hell. There's a little house up here. I see you found me. I'm the proud owner of rare Delta. I can trade it to you. Delta Scyther for any steel type. I need to find a steel type. Well, there's a Stunky here now. I was hoping that it would be that freaking Durant that I caught the first time because I want that Delta Caesar. So Delta Scyther is a ice fighting type and the only steel type that I have encountered is Durant and I traded that for Terror and I'm sad now <laughs> and I, 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 I went a whole actually I forgot there's an actually a hidden grotto uh, right near here that we can go check out as well there it is okay sweet let's check it out let's see if there's any Pokemon here there's a sock. Cool. Not bad. It's only... How is it only level 10? We'll just try to put it to sleep then. Oh, yeah. So, I did... Since advancing time, I was able to get a couple Great Balls and Dust Balls from that original place. Or, one Dust Ball and a couple Great Balls. So, anyway. I'm just going to catch this sock, and it's pretty cool stuff. And I'm probably not going to name it or anything like that. And I... Because I can name it whenever, and I'm never going to actually use it. Because I have right... Ryu. I almost called him Ryder. Um, I want to see if there's any trades, because it seems there's trades in everywhere. Some of the city is in... Uh, okay. Cool. Deep water. That's fine. Do you know Nora? She's actually my sister. Cool. We're going... I'm going on a journey with Nora. Who are you? Her legendary Kami trio are hidden. Kami? I guess that's what... I wonder what they are. Obviously, it makes me think of Kamehameha, but... <laughs> Uh, it's hilarious. Okay, let's spending time my Pokemon Luxray. All right, what? Like the Charge Beam. Not bad. Can anyone learn it on the team? I have actually really good TMs. I didn't even realize that. Um, so of course Celeste can learn it. I'll learn it. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Octazuka. Freaking, god dang it! I need to get an Octillery in or as and use it in Wi-Fi battles because it seems like it has the most badass moves ever. So quiet, and nothing happens. That's fine. Uh, that'd be the sort of town I'd like to live in. Would you like to buy this egg? Yeah, I will buy that. What do you have? Mechi Town so we can get a secret base. I don't care about a secret base. Alright, I'm excited to see what this egg is. So I'm gonna go sell repels because I have like a bunch of repels and I haven't used them. Anyway, I'll take your egg. Thank you for the money. I wonder what kind of Pokemon it's gonna be. I'm super excited to find that out. Let's just keep exploring Mechi Town here. Uh, because there may be some cool other things we can find. Maybe someone wants to trade. Look who it is! It's Nora. Hi, Nora. Hey, Livy. How you doing? It's me, Nora. So you really made it to Mechi Town. Love this place. I used to live here, actually. Want to meet up and talk about so? How do I, how about we battle? So let's let's do it. Wait, you get to use Celebi? What? In the, what? Why is she so strong? This better not be an irritating match. I'm gonna be so upset. Croconaw. I didn't mean to stay in! Oh my goodness, dude. That's just frustrating. I love this game, though. I'm not mad at it. It's all good. Charge beam yo ass. Can, don't, I swear. How do you mi Oh, hustle. That's how you miss charge beam. Celeste, I need you to not miss Charge Beam. That would be very much appreciated. I'm, I'm probably going to give Celeste the, uh, the, whatever you call it, the magnet. Now that 
uh, I'm not using Pikachu anymore. Because it'd be good for her to do more damage with the, the charge beams. Anyways, there we go. It's plus two, two, or not plus two. Well, actually, yeah, plus two. Uh, Floette, I will stay in and hit you with Bubble Beam. Of course, you have Magical Leaf. Who in the who doesn't have Magical Leaf in this game? Grassy Terrain, that's fine. I will take that HP recovery. You just did it again. Good job. Good job, AI. <laughs> Ring out. Why are you having so such good moves? Oh, it's not a dark type in this game? Uh, I don't want it. It's, it's actually a dark type move, so it's kind of funny that it's not. So, let's just go for Roar Beam. Ow. Roar Beam should, yeah, one shot. Get Rex. Celeste sweeping. That is sick. Hello, Celebi. Ow! I knew that was gonna happen. Thank you, Celeste. I appreciate you. You're the ba you're the bomb diggity. Let's just go for flame charge. You have freaking ancient power. Of course you do. Okay. Uh, but I'm faster. Oh, sweet! I can deal with that. There we go. We beat her, even though we were severely underleveled. Ooh, takedown. That could be decent. Uh, I don't know. Stomp is better than Tackle, so we'll just get rid of it. There we go. Even with Celebi, you can't win. Booyah, I'm very happy. Well, that was intense. I was starting to get convinced prophecy. Blah, blah, blah. Talk to Damien. He seems so trustworthy. I don't think I fully explained how it is to shut up. Would you mind doing that? He's heading to Vipic. Okay, I can do that. Bye. That was it. I'm actually really surprised we still beat her. Or, di or didn't have as much trouble as I thought we would. How do the people of daycare not know what's going on? Wait, What? <laughs> They never learned about Starly and B. <laughs> I heard there was Seeker of the Rangers. Oh, if only I knew where. I'd love to join up. I may get that chance. Whooper! 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 I don't remember how Whooper sounded in the anime. It's been forever since I watched that. I ran all the way here from Kanto. Can't feel my feet. How do, you, how do you run all the way here from Kanto? What the hell? Hello, clown. Oh, it's the Pika Taxi guy. Nope, 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 nope. I don't need to. I already accidentally wasted money by going back to whatever it is. Oh, thanks for that. No, Focus Band is so much better. At least in this game. <laughs> um, who can even use it? My goodness. No one can really use it, so I'm not even going to give it to everyone. But I'm going to give the magnet to Celeste. Wish I had a girlfriend. Hello there. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Favorite Pokemon are grass types. You never want any grass types. Thanks for the Miracle Seed. Awesome. I love this game. They just give you so much stuff. The town is named for Mechi, one of the gym leaders here in the region is found a cheetah fairy type gym. She went undefeated. She retired. Eventually, we named the town after her because of her winning streak in place of her built secret vases. I don't want a secret vase. <laughs> it's not going to help me. I'm going to be the best Pokemon or like Smeargle. That's cool. I like Octillery. A lot of travelers find this way tricky to get out of. You go south. Okay. I've been living in Machi for as long as I can remember. Back then, only sorts of food came from the Batty Patch. Learned to farm and fish in our town is cool. Are you freaking 400 years old or something? There's a whole bunch of Spiro. Get out of the way, Spiro. I can't even go down right there. What? That don't make no sense. Let's go in here. You got anything for me? Will you be using the daycare? I might find this useful. A destiny knot. Thanks. I probably won't be doing any breeding in, uh, uh, I probably won't be doing, I won't, I won't be doing breeding in Insurgents. God, I don't know why that took me so hard, so, so long to say. But you and the dude in the other house should go hook up, because you're each, you're each looking for the opposite sex at the moment. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Who's the daycare? I'm the daycare woman. I help take care of the precious Pokemon. All right, let's go in and talk to these people. I don't want to deposit any Pokemon. I'm gonna come out with a raise Pokemon. I don't want to. I'll find that and come again. Okay, that's fine. I may actually run back and forth and stuff. Is there gonna be an item in here? Nope. Hello. Tara loves the tune that he's singing it. Aw, that's awesome. Okay, so I think that's actually about all that we can do in this town. I didn't check out down here. What's over here? Greetings, do you know who I am? I'm Amitai. I'm known as a secret base manager. Fans of all over the world come to me to purchase our secret bases. You can do a lot of things. You can decorate or and or hire people to work. You can even visit your friends. If you want to lay traps, front your uh, blah blah blah, capture the flag, your friends first. How much? Five thousand dollars. I don't want that. I don't want a secret base. Can I? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So I can't even go in there until I buy the base. So I don't want to do that. Yay, the egg is hatching. I wanna wonder what it is. It's a 
mural! That's cool. I don't want it. Suppose we can check out of this mural. I don't really want it because obviously it's a it's a it's a water type and I already have one. Um it's got thick fat obviously with tackle and water gun. Okay, so it's just kinda meh. Great. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something sick, but it's just a mural. Come on, man. All right, everybody, this is where I'm going to be ending this episode of Pokemon Insurgents, so I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, like, so appreciate it. In the next episode, actually, before the next episode, I want to show you, I will be training up this Stunky and getting Terra and Ryu up to level 28 as well. So, uh, our team's, it's, it's going to be kind of difficult, but I want to use the Stunky. It's pretty cool. It's a different typing than the rest of the Pokemon. It'll also have a name in the next episode. Uh, maybe I'll put it on the side, but I probably won't have, but... That's all good. And it was thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did a like this, appreciate it. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.